Oh god, now I've got a bit of this jumper in my eye. I basically, I'm this close to the camera to say, I just noticed that I have, as well as the hair in my goddamn eye, lipstick all over my teeth before. I've now wiped it off my teeth. Mm, that's maybe why I don't wear red lipstick so much, but I'll try and get this bit of alpaca out my eye now. Hi from future me. So, I filmed this last night and then realised I had red lipstick all over my teeth. That is why I always stick to nudes. So, I wasn't planning on filming today, so I'm going to refilm the talking bit because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and that just annoyed me when I was trying to edit it. And you will see the past me in the cutaways. So, let's get into this bag. I'm going to show you what I got from H&M. This is to carry on my High Street haul series from Autumn New In. So everything here is from the New In section. I will leave links in the description bar below as I did with my last River Island haul for the UK and the US as well. And I will also link my other previous High Street haul videos below. And if there is any that you want me to do, comment below with the High Street store you want me to do a haul of. And yeah, if you're new and you want to see more of my High Street hauling series, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get into the video. So I will tell you the price in pounds and the first is £35 and it is for this knitted jumper. A little bit creased because I've put them back in the bag a little bit untidy after I filmed yesterday. But we've got the frill going on here and it is just a camely knit. I picked it up in a UK 12, I'm normally a 10. And as you will see from the cutaways, I wasn't too keen on the fit of this jumper. Even though I sized up, it still didn't fit me great and it just felt a little bit uncomfortable. So the jumper's on and I'm not that keen. It feels a little bit itchy and scratchy doesn't really sit very nicely there. I have sized up, it's a good job I did size up because the size down would probably be too small. But these sleeves are kind of, I don't know if that flap action just makes me laugh, it's a bit like a ripple effect. But they also feel a little bit uncomfortable on the arms because they do feel quite heavy. So I'm not sure that's a good look to you. Feel a bit like I'm gonna take off or something. Then we have another jumper, this one was £30, a white jumper in a sweatshirt material. It isn't the softest material though, but what drew me to it was this ring detailing at the back here. I just thought it was something a little bit extra to a basic sweatshirt. On to the white jumper, it doesn't feel as cheap on, and I do actually really like the ring detail at the back. Although this is nice, and I don't think it's too expensive what it is, don't know if I'll get the wear out of it maybe, but it does look really nice just paired with whitewash. Denim jeans that I've got up here, so I'll have a little think about this one. The next item is actually the most expensive in this whole haul. It was £60 and I do love it, but I'm not sure for the price and it is this gorgeous green jumper. I really do love the colour. James thinks it washes me out a little bit. I've got tan on at the moment, but I'm looking quite pale on the screen, but it's alpaca. So those funny like lamb things, um, sorry they cracked me up, they're a little bit like llamas but a sheep version. I'll <laughs> insert a video of what might make you laugh. Oh God, whoa, okay, ain't nobody with my click, 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 ain't nobody fresher than my mom. Click, 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 as I look around they don't do it like my click, 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 click. But it's just a little bit itchy when it's on against the skin, so I'd maybe have to have another top underneath it to be able to hack it all day. But I thought it was a gorgeous oversized knit for autumn. I loved the colours and I just thought it worked really well with bleach and light wash denim. So this is the green jumper. Does feel a little bit itchy on, but obviously that's because of the alpaca that's in it. But oh, I love the colour. I think it looks so good with this type of denim and it's just really big, cosy, oversized, it's actually really warm, so it'd be nice for winter. Might be better with the top underneath though, because it does feel like it's scratching my skin, but might take your fake tan off, but it's going to be a good exfoliation, so you might have soft skin after wearing this jumper, if you can deal with the itch all day long, so that's something I'm going to have to maybe have to think about, because I've only had it on a few minutes, and I feel like it's literally itching the life out of me, but other than that, I do really like it. If your skin can withstand alpaca and you're a hard nut, then it might be one for you. Moving on to denim, I have three pairs and they are all light wash. 
I'm a little bit in love with light wash denim at the moment as you would probably tell from all these pieces that I've picked out. I think all of these jeans were £35 so for me that's affordable for a pair of jeans. They're all light wash, that's a surprise but let's break into the first pair. The first pair are some boyfriend low waist jeans. They've got a little bit of frayed hem at the bottom but not much so they're pretty much a plain straight leg pair in a semi light wash denim. I picked these up in a size 29. I never know my size in H&M, I always seems to be a bigger size. I have got a couple of size 28s as well but I'm worried they won't fit so I picked these up in a size 29. Straight away these jeans are a no. I overestimated or underestimated the sizing of H&M jeans. Now that's 29 and they're absolutely massive on me. I'm a size 10. I thought I would size up because for some reason I thought their sizes were quite on the small size. Maybe the tops are just small and the pants are big so not going to be wearing them but they do feel really nice denim so if they actually were in my size they might fit better. They are low waist anyway but I don't know, obviously this is the wrong size for me, but I might size down and give these another go. Oh, I remember these and I'm literally obsessed with the detailing on these jeans. They're 28 though, so they might not fit, so let's keep the fingers crossed that they do. But these jeans are a vintage fit, like I adore Levi's, but I can never get any to fit my arse and fit my waist at the same time. So if I see vintage fit for a pair of jeans, I really want to try them. They're high waist as well. They literally hide all of your sins. They're great with cropped more shorts, tops and blouses and great with obviously my Gucci belt. But these are in more of a lighter wash denim. Again, they're pretty much a straight leg. Yeah, pretty much straight leg jeans, but they've got all this amazing embellishment, like little studs around the pockets. And we've got them on these little belt loops as well and I love a pair of jeans with a button up the kind of like a bit of a masculine vibe rather than a zip so hopefully they'll fit in a 28 so we shall see. These jeans feel a bit tight around there and around here but all right everywhere else so I don't know if they would give maybe I need a 29 in the tight ones and a 28 in the loose ones but just, I don't feel comfortable in them, but I do want to try the next size down. Again, I think the denim feels really soft and good quality. I think it's a great price for £35 if you can get a pair to fit you properly. Then my last pair, vintage fit again, why I would have gone for them again at 28. I'm really a little bit worried that I'm not going to be able to fit into these jeans. Like I said, H&M normally come up small. And again, light wash, light wash pair predictable for me I know and again these are high waist but what's different about these two the ones with studs on is that we've got a little bit of a ripped knee going on the ripped knee trend is still popular every time I see my father-in-law if I'm wearing ripped jeans he always comments on them and he thinks that I can't afford to buy myself a new pair and every time I have to say trust me they're meant to be like that all in the name of fashion but yeah a size 28 in these again and um, to go off my body shape and sizing i've got a waist maybe like 26 and a half 27 inches around the waist my hips 37 to 37 and a half inches and i've got a butt so i'm normally in between in jeans if it fits in the waist it's so tight in my bum I wouldn't be able to walk or sit down and if they fit on my hips they're always too big around the waist. So hopefully one of those, hopefully these jeans fit. Oh these are a bit of a squeeze. So, whew, give me a second. Oh we're in, I don't know how long I'll stay in them for but these are the vintage fit jeans in a size 28 but as you can see it's probably because they're high waisted. They are super tight around here. I've got them on now but uh, they just feel a little bit uncomfortable. The knee holes are maybe sitting a bit high up but I mean I am five foot, eight and a half, five foot nine. The rest is a good fit, it's just here and oh, hmm, maybe they give but first impressions are they are rather tight around the old belly and the hips so maybe a size up in them. I do actually quite like the knee rips although that is a bit Hind sitting a bit uncomfortable on me but again not an amazing pair of denim on me maybe I just don't fit them 
So, if you have been watching the previous videos of my Autumn Trends and the High Street Hall video, you'll know I also have a shearling obsession. And I have another shearling jacket for you today, but this one, this is by far my favourite. It trumps all of them. I am in love. It was £50, so it's around the similar price marks to the two ASOS jackets and the River Island one. And it is a hybrid between a shearling coat, a teddy coat and a bag jacket. It looks amazing on, even James likes this. Like, James barely likes any of my furry big coats. Well, to be honest, he doesn't really like most of the things that I wear, but he said that he really liked this. So, kind of makes me love it a little bit more when he finally gives me a thumbs up on my outfits. But this was 50 pounds. We've got the, basically, the cut of a bag jacket, but an oversized one in this beautiful Teddy Shearling hybrid. And I'm literally obsessed. It's not white, so it's gonna, be better for clumsy people like me, if, especially if you're drinking coffee or anything on the go, you might be able to get away with a few stains a little bit more on this, but this is the champion piece from this H&M haul. If you're going to buy anything from H&M new in season, anything that's going to see you through autumn winter, anything from this haul, this jacket definitely gets 10, 20, 100 out of 100 for me. I absolutely love it. Saving the best until last, the teddy bear jacket. Now, let's just get this on. And I'm in love already. I'm glad I got a 12 actually, because although it's oversized, it still feels quite tight around the back. So if I do this, it could be because of my elbows on the lining on the inside, but so obsessed. I have to say this is probably my favourite of the shilling jackets so far. I love the fact that it's got these biker lapels, the biker bits at the front anyway. It just looks so cool, so chic. Oh, I'm in love. I could possibly even get away with a 14 in this, but I don't want it to be too tight on the actual body. I mean, I always have problems with my arms and my massive elbows, but if I zip it up, and this is what it looks like zipped up. I mean, I look so snug, don't I? At the bottom, I've still kind of got room here, so I could still fit some knitwear under it as long as, you know, it wasn't too tight around here. And yeah, absolutely friggin' obsessed with this. I'm so over the moon that I've found one piece that I love from this haul. I normally love H&M, and I feel like this haul has been pretty unsuccessful for me. Not because I don't like the items, mainly because I don't like the composition and the material that's been used. I don't want to be wearing an itchy jumper all day that I can't just feel comfortable in, especially if I'm at work. Same with the denim jeans. I'm definitely going to try the two vintage pairs in a size up. So I'll reorder them or try them in the store, but altering them, which is the store near my work, doesn't seem to have the best offering of clothing. So I'm gonna get the other two jeans in the next size up. And I think I'm gonna send pretty much everything else back, obviously apart from this jacket. I'm so in love with this jacket. At least out of this haul, we have one successful item, which is this amazing jacket. So this is the king of all chilling jackets that I've shown you guys so far. So I hope this hasn't been too rubbish for you, but I'll do a proper outro in a second. There we have everything from my H&M haul. All of those items cost around £290. Unfortunately, some of the sizing just isn't right for me. I'm going to order the get off my back jumper. I'm gonna try the jeans in some other sizes and I'm definitely, as you've probably guessed already, keeping that shilling coat. Not like a girl needs another shilling coat, but that is my favorite by far. Sorry for the scattiness of the future me and the past me. I just couldn't deal with the lipstick on my teeth, so hopefully that doesn't put you off. But let me know any high street shops in the comments below you want me to do for the next video in this series. I've got a couple of other videos to come in between, but don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on this series and my other future videos because it would be great to have you guys back. And I will leave links to my Instagram, my blog below. I'll leave links below to what I'm wearing and this top is actually from Nasty Girl. I will leave that linked as well. Like I said, links for the UK and the US for all of the H&M trend items and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye.